back again with another live session. We're gonna hit bicep and tricep today. Let me put a comment. Bicep and tricep. Fuck people! One of the things we have to learn early in life. I didn't learn this till later on. I don't give a motherfucker. You can't care what anybody thinks about you. If I care what people thought about me, you think I'd be yelling out here, doing a hundred and five pound rock, talking shit? This is who I am. Find out who you are. Own that motherfucker. And tell people don't fuck themselves. Don't ever worry about anybody and what the fuck they think about. If you do that, I guarantee you your life will be in shambles. You will become the biggest bitch of all time. The most important step we have to take in life is our next one. A lot of us here have feet stuck in concrete. If you have feet stuck in concrete because we're afraid to let enemies we're afraid of students in our mind. We're afraid of being in that group of people. And when you walk away, we're afraid that they might stay behind your back. All that fear clouds your brain and clouds your thinking. One thing in life, you can always have haters. Embrace them. If you can walk on fucking water, trust me, the haters are saying, you can walk on water. Because you can't fucking swim. Look one thing. Shut the fucking noise out. And face the fact that people don't like you. You should do something about it. Stay hard. Stay in fight. One thing I found out in my life, I used to always want people to accept me and like me. So I became who they were. If you like something and I ain't like it, I like it because you like it. Become unapologetic of who the fuck you are in your life. If you get after it, you're a hard motherfucker, get after it. You gotta make yourself better than what you think you are. And what that requires is people not fucking understand you, not know you, not get you at all. Look at you like you're off. Look at you like you have a problem. Don't worry about that shit. Be unapologetic. Get after it. Stay hard. Do the fuck you want. A lot of folks didn't start the journey, man. They never start the journey because they live in this fake life that who they want to be, they act like they are, but they're not because they haven't fixed all this stuff yet. You gotta fix this first before we can start our journey in life. You fix these problems, now your journey can begin because you no longer care about how people are judging you. When, when you care more about how someone's judging you, you're gonna stay right there. There's no full momentum. The more I get it quick, the more self-respect I gain. And the power was all mine. In life, it's important to do one thing. Many people will try to dehumanize you. It's up to you to find self-respect and dignity in yourself. Price the band, price the Don't go be a form to have honor. You need to have pride in yourself. So if you want to sit back Bicep and judge how bomb, jacked up I was and how messed up my life was, Merry Christmas, Bro, don't have a good time. Say, judge, it, man. judge it, man. Judge it. Like, just me talking about it makes me feel good. And that's, and that's another thing about it. When you are willing to talk about how jacked up you are, the strength, that big rock that you carry, it just starts to come off. I'm tired of being afraid. I'm tired of not telling you shit. I'm tired of lying about how good I'm not. Anytime you move from being normal to trying to be exceptional, people aren't gonna like that shit. Those normal people, it makes them feel like shit. They're judging. And nowadays, it's very easy to be a fucking coward. Why? You got Instagram and shit. Most folks don't tell you to your face. They go online. They post about like cowards. Don't let cowards get in your fucking head. And last thing, make sure you do you. Stay hard. Bitch, you don't fucking know me. You see a one-minute fucking video about me. You're not hard at
train, how I live, the fucking education I put to my fucking life. So why do you trust? Maybe it's a fat motherfucker at home. Lazy. With no discipline or dedication. Maybe a jealous. Who knows? But success in life kills more haters. Don't make it worse your feelings. Use them for fuel. Use them for energy. In times of need, put them on the fucking mental Rolodex in your mind. And we don't want to do shit. Roll through your brain. Pull up that motherfucker that you need. That person that said you couldn't do something. Work fast enough, good enough, smart enough, where the fuck they be. Use them for energy. Instead of killing them with kindness, torture them with fucking success. Self-discipline is everything. If you don't have it, I, I don't look at you right because I know you're capable of more. It's not discipline so much for me. It's all on you. David Gordon. It's all on you. The self part is what's big. Where you're going to fail and you're going to be in your head. You're going to be saying, I'm not good enough. And it's how you get through that. It's how you get through that on a daily basis when that thing is saying, man, I'm 43. I've done so much. You start to become civilized. The refrigerator gets full. You start getting, making money and you start, I'm not getting cold anymore, I'm retired. Once in, at 40 people, shouldn't be playing basketball or football or, or, or beating them up. You start to believe this shit. And it becomes in your fucking mind like, there's people who are retired, you know, at 40 something years old or, or 30 something years old. At 43, I'm still putting 100 mile weeks, still doing thousands of pull-ups, thousands of push-ups because I'm not allowing myself to become civilized. The worst thing that can happen to a man is become civilized. You lose that fucking fight, you, 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 you lose that. Why the fuck am I doing this shit? I'm good. You ain't good, man. You ain't never fucking arrived. And that's just my mentality. You may have more, but you never fucking arrived. You wanna be uncommon amongst uncommon people, period. We have two voices in our mind. The boy, I know they're fucking true. I heard him. I hear him now. <laughs> it's real. It's that one voice. That voice I used to love to fucking hear. We love to hear. It's that soft motherfucker. That soft motherfucking voice that says, sleep the fuck in. It's okay. It's that calling voice. You want to be hugged and nurtured and all that shit. That said, it's going to be okay. Well, the other motherfucking voice that wakes you up in the middle of the night. That demon fucking voice that whispers in your fucking ear that says, Get up, motherfucker. You're not fucking good enough. You gotta work fucking harder. You gotta put enough time in. It's that voice you wanna run away from. It's that voice you don't wanna fucking hear. But guess what? It's that voice you need to fucking listen to. Every voice is trying to hit the pavement. That's how I feed myself. Motherfucker, look for inspiration. This price is found, and every first step you take, every grasp of that fucking iron bar, all that shit, all the miles of pool, this price is found in suffering. In life, a lot of us believe that we're working much harder than we actually are. We think if we fucking got up early for four days, we learn to suffer. You gotta drop your entire mindset. It's dead weight. We believe we work harder than we actually have. Trust me, most of us have it. So one thing in life you gotta realize is this. Learn to help yourself. Don't count on other people to help you. We're all being tested in life. And guess what? This is one test you can't cheat on. We all have our own test. Some of us are obese, some of us are depressed, some of us are insecure. And the only way to overcome it is for you and you alone to face it. You have to do your best work when you're at least motivated. So those days you don't want to do it, guess what you got to do? 
You gotta suck the fuck up and do it. Stay hard. When you get to the point where you really don't care, you become very, very dangerous. I'm not saying you don't care like, I don't care if I do that. No, when you don't care about other people and how they view you, about how you walk, how you talk, how you dress, where you want to go with your life, most of us fail in life because we're afraid of what everyone around you is thinking. That's a hundred percent true. We live by the narrative of other people. What's up, we're just watching right now. I'm hitting my bicep and tricep workout. Hey, late Latif. What's up? Yeah. Anyways, I'm hitting my second variation of bicep, so I'll be having an hour variation or two more variations. And then I'll be switching over to tricep. So, you know, you, you can either hang in there, watch me, or work out with me, or watch this video later after I upload it on IG. Okay, I had to stop giving a fuck. That was the biggest thing. I had to stop caring what people thought of me. I realized that everybody's fucked up. That's the one thing I realized. I walked around and I put these people on a, on a fucking pedestal. Everybody was better than me. So I can't tell you anything about me because you're going to judge me and I feel even worse than what I am. What I realized, once I calmed my mind down, sat back and looked at how jacked up this world is. Once you realize that you are not alone, everybody that's talking to you about how jacked up you are, only thing they've done better than you is they hit you your fucked up world better than you have. Fuck people! One thing you have to learn early in life, I didn't learn this till later on. I don't give a motherfucker. You can't care what anybody thinks about you. If I care what people thought about me, you think I'd be yelling out here? You were 105 pound rock, talking shit. This is who I am. Find out who you are and own that motherfucker and tell people to go fuck themselves. Don't ever worry about anybody or what the fuck they think about. If you do that, I guarantee you your life will be a shambles. You will become the biggest bitch of all time. The most important step in undertaking life is our next one. And I was gonna speak something concrete. We are beasts like a concrete because we're afraid to make enemies. We're afraid of speaking to our mind. We're afraid of being in that group of people. And when we walk away, we're afraid of what they might say behind your back. All that fear clouds your brain without the thinking. One thing in life, you can always have haters. Embrace them. If you can walk on fucking water, trust me. You hear what I'm saying? You can walk on water because you can't fucking swim. Learn one thing. Shut the fucking noise out. Embrace the fact that people don't like you. You need to do something about it. Stay hard. Stay in fight. One thing I found out in my life, I used to always want people to accept me and like me. So I became who they were. If you like something and I ain't like it, I like it because you like it. Become unapologetic of who the fuck you are in your life. If you get after it, you're a hard motherfucker, get after it. You gotta make yourself better than what you think you are. And what that requires is people not fucking understand you not know you, not get you at all. Look at you like you're off. Look at you like you have a problem. Don't worry about that shit. Be unapologetic. Get after it, stay hard. 
Who the fuck you are? A lot of folks, they didn't start the journey, man. They never start the journey because they're living this fake life that who they want to be, they act like they are, but they're not because they haven't fixed all this stuff yet. We got to fix this first before we can start our journey in life. You fix these problems, now your journey can begin because you no longer care about how people are judging you. When, when you care more about how someone's judging you, you're going to stay right there. There's no full momentum. The more I get it quick, the more self-respect I gain. And the power was all mine. Then life is important to do one thing. Many people will try to humanize you. It's up to you to find self-respect and dignity in yourself. You don't need a uniform to have honor. You need to have pride in yourself. So if you want to sit back and judge how jacked up I was and how messed up my life was, Merry Christmas, go for it. Have a good time. And say, judge it, man. Judge it. Like just me talking about it makes me feel good. And that's, and that's another thing about it. When you are willing to talk about how jacked up you are, the strength, that big rock that you carry, it just starts to come off. I'm tired of being afraid. I'm tired of not telling you, I'm tired of lying about how good I'm not. Let me check it out here. Anytime you move from being normal to trying to be exceptional, Damn. people aren't going to like that shit. Most normal people, it makes them feel like shit. They're going to judge you. And nowadays, it's very easy to be a fucking coward. Why? We got Instagram and shit. Most folks don't tell you to your face. They go online and post about like cowards. Don't let cowards get in your fucking head. And last day, make sure you do you. Stay hard. Bitch, you don't fucking know me. You see a one minute fucking video about me. You know how hard I train, how I live, the fucking dedication I put to my fucking life. So why do you troll? Maybe you some fat motherfucker at home. Lazy. And don't listen to your dedication. Maybe you're jealous. Who knows? But success in life comes more hate. Don't make them hurt your feelings. Use it for fuel. Use them for energy. This in times so of need, easy, but put them on the fucking mental roller decks in your mind. It really gives you that and we don't want to do shit. Her showed it Roll to me and I thought it was a joke. Pull up that but it's actually that really fucking effective that person said you couldn't do something. Work. I don't know when after up, six steps, I feel like I can't even listen. Use just it for energy. energy. Instead of killing them with kindness, torture them with fucking success. It comes from a disgusting place of not being fulfilled in your life, of afraid of dying, having never accomplished anything. When you have a real fear of dying and being just another person, that I live to pay the bills, I made $1,000 a month. This is my life. I spray for cockroaches, man. If, if that makes you feel good, that's great. It didn't make me feel good. I wanted to the first time in my life, after 26 years of 24, 25, wherever I was, I wanted to feel good about myself. I have to become someone in this world. I put everything on David Goggins to be a Navy SEAL. I put my whole life a guy that was steering the fucking water, a guy that could fucking tell us how to read and write, on being one of the hardest motherfuckers on the planet. Think about that shit. A guy that came from nothing. I put my whole life, but I'm gonna go out here and put everything on David fucking Dines to be a Navy SEAL. Not to go be a fucking, you know, Boy Scout or some shit, a Navy SEAL. And I, and I, I, I look at that, and I did all that shit just to get the opportunity to succeed. That's what that's what people don't fucking understand, man. If people see the, the the end result, I remember that guy saying, "My God, man, I can't believe what the fuck I just done. I put everything, ruin relationships, ruin this, ruin that, put everything on that. I have to become somebody in this world, where I'm no good for anybody. 
I saw myself walking across the fucking stage at 191 fucking pounds. That's what I had to get to, to, to get to the door. I saw myself six months, a year later, whatever it's going to take me to do it. I saw myself walking across that stage getting that fucking certificate of graduation from Buds. And I was able to be there at 300 fucking pounds. And that feeling that I was nowhere near that fucking feeling, I was able to put myself there a million times every fucking day. And that feeling of like, my God, that is going to feel fucking amazing. That's what made me suffer. That's what allowed the pain to be real and say, this is worth it. I want to feel for This fucking next 18 months, it took me 18 fucking months to finally get my name to finally, you know, just get through butts. 18 months, it's six months. It took me 18. That's what woke me up every fucking morning was, I'm going to put myself through this much fucking pain and suffering for a few seconds. That's all it is. A few seconds of joy. It's so fucking worth it, man. I said, people don't get it. So I'm able to put myself at the finish line, even though I have no finish line, but at the finish line of an event before I even start the motherfucker to say, how are you going to feel at the end of this? Visualizing is, is my biggest tool of life. That's why I, I, I've been able to put myself in cold water, put myself in a 100-mile race millions of times before I've done it. And I've been able to go through the race and see how I'm going to feel about it. Almost to the, almost to the exact, exact feeling. It was a surprise. I've already done this a million times, and that's the one thing I practice and practice and practice and practice overnight. But also, the most important thing is I, I, I practice that feeling of accomplishment. I'm going to have this all set up. Someone asked me one time, "What's your biggest fear?" My biggest fear was fucking dying that 300 pound man. You never know what I can be who I am today. A lot of us are wasteful, but we're wasteful who we are in life. It's important to train that motherfucker to be able to get out of yourself. Stay home. Mediocrity is everywhere right now. And we're all trying to find an easy way out. And we're judging ourselves. We surround ourselves around people that make us feel great, that tell us what we want to hear. The second we put ourselves amongst the uncommon people, we don't like that feeling. We don't want that person who's constantly challenging our weaknesses. We want that person who's constantly, you know, making us feel nice and good and secure in ours. That's the mediocrity of life. We want to be the best amongst the average people. You're mediocre now, man. What are you fucking doing today, tomorrow, the next fucking day? The mind is a medieval motherfucker. It's constantly fighting against you. It's the only thing in the history of the fucking world that shows up on time every time. It has a tactical advantage over you. It knows your fears. It knows your insecurities. It knows everything about you. It might be the only thing in that world that knows all about you. You gotta know about it. It's gonna show up when you don't wanna show up. It's gonna show up at the worst time possible when you wanna be successful. It's gonna say, take the easy road. Take the easy way out. You gotta learn your brain like the brain has learned you. You gain knowledge through suffering. And on the other end of suffering is a world that very few, very few have ever seen. It's a beautiful world. Because that's where you find yourself. You don't find yourself in over here. You find yourself on the other end. The permanent result comes from you fucking, I say it all the time, you have to suffer. You have to make that a tattoo on your fucking brain so when that hard time comes again, you don't forget it. We often forget how hard we are, but you gotta reflect back. Take a couple seconds reflect. I've been through this, I've been through that. And then remind yourself, I'm a bad motherfucker. And then you can get through that shit. But if you don't believe it, you haven't endured shit, you just blow the smoke, man. 
I'm constantly casting over my victims and mentality that I once had growing up. Every day you have to do this shit. Because why? When you stop doing it, you don't just maintain it. If you stop shooting the gun, you're not going to be a great shot if you pick the gun up a year from now. The only way to keep from getting rusty is to constantly over that motherfucking machine when the machine exists. You got to keep challenging every day. I stutter, I, I have these issues with, with, with uh, reading and writing, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm fat and I'm insecure. You have to face that in that dark room. In that dark room is who you are. But in that dark room is where you have to create another human being that walks out of that dark room to face who you are. That's the only way you're gonna get over all these things. You have to create someone else. Not like you have two different personalities. It is you. But you have to find strength. And that visualization of almost me, like almost like that Superman cape, like, like, like I'm coming out a different person, a person that doesn't give a fuck about anything. Doesn't care about being judged. He knows I'm weak. He knows I'm afraid. He says, whatever you think about me, take it, whatever, I'm here. In the dark room, you face yourself, you realize you want to be better. You realize you don't want to be this weak, insecure person in the world that's all these problems that we all have. We all have. Social media is a great platform to tell you who we want to be, not who we are. Look at yourself, man. Look at yourself. What am I going to do today to change what I see in this mirror? If you're not real and raw with who the fuck you are, nothing's gonna change. You face it every day. You face it every single day of your life. When you say, okay, like if you're fat and you lose weight, it's patience. It's patience and respect of accepting who you are right now. I'm fat, I'll like myself. You have to live in your own fucking world. You cannot judge yourself. That's why social media life is a horror. You can't judge yourself off the so-called competition that we have made up in our mind. The things that, how people look, how people act, how smart someone is. This is a race that you run completely alone. When you really sit back at your life, when you in that dark room, and you're looking at where you started from, and you tell yourself, how are you gonna feel, man, when you accomplish this goal coming from that shit? Coming from the fucking hell you came from. A lot of you are trying to find inspiration and motivation with a depressed mindset. You're depressed because you're not doing shit with yourself. You don't find inspiration by not living in the grip of life. You're not living in the grip of life to find inspiration. Put challenges in front of yourself. When you put a challenge in front of yourself and you attack it, that's when you find inspiration. This is another the more you walk away from accountability, to get this fucking bicep the more you become. I forgot what people call this. One thing about life is that people in life, the ultimate ultimate success success is the they exploit your weakness and they love to walk you around life and own space in your head. One of the biggest ways to cut those strings and walk on your own two fucking feet to your own destination in life is to build self respect, self esteem. Self-discipline, all those things. Stay hard is not just about going to the fucking gym. Stay hard is about going that extra step when you fucking can. That's what builds self-esteem and self-respect. There's a lot of scars we have in our bodies that people can see. And they tell a story. But a lot of us have scars in their brains about fucked up lives, bad childhoods, bad adulthood, whatever the fuck you're going through. Those scars in your brain we don't talk about. Hi, story is proof that our past is real. But the one thing we do is we lie to control our lives. Concentration. And we get off the law. But time to get back on the law and not have those scars define the rest of your fucking life. Sometimes you gotta fight pain with pain. Stay hard.
It's so easy to be great nowadays. Most people are weak. This, this is a softened generation. So if you have any mental toughness, any, any ability, if you have any fraction of self-discipline, the ability to not want to do it, but still do it. Hey. Yeah, man, it wasn't until I changed that so mentality that I became somebody. That's life, man. But if you can get through to out. doing things that you hate to do, on the other side is greatness. I'm just going to say I... Not getting civilized is about having a savage mentality. The worst thing that could ever happen to any human being is they become civilized. It's that whole like, like, you know, right I, I was the baddest person to ever live. I used that as a trigger to push myself man. beyond where I came to even more. And right now, there are zero people live and it's fucked with my ego. And that's when I'm going to get in David Morgan's version of myself. Where, you know, I make it a point to show to people that you may Watch be tired, but you ain't never coming back still gonna home, kill man. My now you're no, just. People see you falling off. But my you wanna be that guy who knows I may be retired from the sport or forever I did, but I'll be damned if you ever see me looking like shit, feeling like shit, not alive. You're always setting the example. Civilization feels so good. These comfortable feelings are what people want. They want retirement. They want that. They need that. The only way to keep from getting rusty is to constantly over that motherfucking machine. The machine exists. You have to keep challenging it every day. Or so many people die, live a hundred years, never fucking know who they are. Never know who they are. You have to look in that mirror and know it's, there's so much more in here, man. So what's your fucking excuse? Life's a real big fucking picture. When I was young, all those things got in my head. Black, fucking not smart enough, single mom, all that bullshit, all the space in my head. If you're allowing people and things and situations to have space in your fucking head, you're losing. Last thing, last one big fucking head game. You play with yourself. If you lose, it's because you allow life to get in your fucking head. Stay hard. So I finished my bicep workout right now. When I made the decision, to begin my the conscious workout, decision to become a warrior, and you can already see. I realized my, my, that my mentality had to be very different. And what that meant awesome. was I had to put myself through a bunch of pushes to gain the warrior mentality. Some guys are born, so, I believe that. Some guys are born and they have some things. great childhood. Their dad's tough on them and they build this mental toughness and this discipline in this kid. I didn't have this, so I had to design a crucible to put myself through to gain this warrior mentality. I chose this world to be a warrior. And I would, and I would choose it again if I came back to this world. But the mentality of a warrior is very different than your own mentality. You must be that person on that door, open, get ready to open it, thinking to yourself, if I die, so be it. The only way you can go in that door you know, there's a great chance you're going to die. But being a SEAL, you train with live ammo. You jump out of the airplane. Every, 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 everything you do, you can die. So to be a warrior, why people don't understand me, I'm glad you don't understand me. Merry Christmas. Good on you. Because being a warrior takes a whole different mindset. And a whole different mindset to know that this is a great chance. I may not be in the like I was in 21 years. I'm lucky. I'm very lucky that I'm alive and the top two is still run. But when you sign up for that down line to be a set in a, like a seal, your mentality changes. I may not live. You gotta accept that. And that's the mentality you have. And that's what makes you warm. If you're scared to die, 
Good bad. I wasn't born this motherfucker. I made him. At the bottom of insecurities, fear, self-doubt, lies, was me buried in the fucking fetal position. How I got out of that was recognizing it, being honest with it, being truthful with it, and then fixing it. Warriors. Real warriors. And I want to say that is a whole different mentality. So I've worked with people who have the courage to jump on grenades and kill themselves to save everybody around them. That's the kind of mentality it takes to be a SEAL. Does every Navy SEAL have it? No. But that's what SEALs are, that's what we try to, that's why Navy SEAL training buzz is so hard. We're trying to find that person who's willing to go the distance. And the distance is your life. So when I'm talking to people right now, maybe what I say to you does not resonate because why you're not willing to give your life for something. Every SEAL, at least most, I can't speak for everyone, most of us are. A lot of people who go fight for this country, a lot of them are not willing to do that. Am I talking bad about them? No, don't take it and twist my words. People like to twist words. I thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you for that. A lot of people are scared. Navy SEALs are scared also, but a lot of us have a way to realize what we have decided to do with our lives. And it takes a great sacrifice, that sacrifice could be your life. And that you have to be able to do that to become a warrior. If you go into combat scared, you can be scared, but you can't be so scared, it makes you afraid to fight. That makes sense. We're able to control that, and a lot of us are able to put ourselves in hell and become the devil. But at the end of the day, the worst thing that can happen to a man is he becomes civilized. Once you become so civilized that you have everything you want, that warrior mentality that I'm so proud of, that I had to, it wasn't, I, I wasn't born with it. I had to go through the crucible of my life to acquire it. You're always gonna keep that thing sharp like a sword. So you always sharp, you don't have to sharpen every day that you did when you were going to combat. But if you leave it alone for too long, it gets a little dull. And that's my mind. I always want to sharpen. I don't have to do these things every single day of my life. But you always got to go back and sharpen that sword every now and then to make sure that that mentality is still there and the refrigerator is still into it. Because you always want to keep that edge. And that edge keeps you going forward. I'm constantly changing the way I think. The core of who I am? I'll never change that. I'm proud of that. Warrior Spartan mentality. A lot of us are going through a hard time in life. Some people have been bullied. Some people are just stressed out. Some people are insecure. Some people are fat and overweight. This and the world out, puts a lot of things in your mind. It's, it's not just fun. you. Yeah, you help it. And my whole thing is about, I had to develop a mindset. A mindset that was indestructible. That up. I had to armor plate my mind. The mind has the tactical advantage over you at all times. At all times of your life, the mind has a tactical advantage over you. Why is that? It knows what you're afraid of. It knows your insecurities. It knows your deep, dark lies. And it my starts to push you away from that shit. It pushes you in a direction that is comfortable. The mind controls everything. It starts telling you all these things. You start to believe it. Because the mind controls all. This is the time where you have to gain control back in your mind. And you have to first be uncomfortable with how you feel about yourself. With that voice that a lot of us like to run away from, we all have it. Life made you this way. We can't live like this. We can't live in fear. We can't live in judgment. We can't be afraid of what the fuck people right now are looking at me saying about me. I worked myself so hard that I turn a person this fucked up into this motherfucker right here. Not off of reading a fucking book off a of theorist. Off of going to work on myself and saying, I don't know how to do this, but I know that to get over there that fucking side, I gotta grind myself into a fucking fine power. And I did.
did it. The most important conversation you will ever have in your fucking life is the one you have yourself. You wake up with it, you walk around with it, you go to bed with it, eventually you're going to act on it. Whether you're good or bad, it's about you. It is about you. It's strictly about you finding who you are. So many people die. You have a hundred years. You never fucking know who they are. You never know who they are. You have to look in that mirror and know this, there's so much more in here, man. Because I can literally right now be a 300 pound guy spraying for cockroaches. Still this day, if I did not look in that mirror and say, there, there has to be more to this. This can't be it. And then we're going to go into it, dive deep into it, and give all I have to find it. You realize we're all fucked up. Stop judging yourself against other fucked up people who have hidden it better than you. It's all they've done. They've masked their shit better than you have, and now they're flipping it back on you and saying you're fucked up. I want you to realize that this world, life, is one big take. And once you learn to play the motherfucking head game, it's no longer a game anymore at all. You can start living your life. Self-discipline is everything. And if you don't have it, I, I don't look at you right because I know you're capable of more. It's not discipline so much for me. It's all on you. It's all on you. The self part is what's big. Where you're going to fail and you're going to be in your head, you're going to be saying, I'm not good enough. And it's how you get through that. It's how you get through that on a daily basis when that thing is saying, man, I'm 43, I've done so much. You start to become civilized. The refrigerator gets full. You start getting, making money and you start, I'm not getting cold anymore. I'm retired. Once in, at 40 people, shouldn't be playing basketball or football or, or, or being, you start to believe this shit. And it comes in your fucking mind like, there's people who are retired, you know, at 40 something years old or, or 30 something years old. At 43, I'm still putting 100 mile weeks, still doing thousands of pull ups, thousands of push ups because I'm not allowing myself to become civilized. The worst thing that can happen to a man is become civilized. You lose that fucking fight, you, 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 you lose that. Why the fuck am I doing this shit? I'm good. You ain't good, man. You ain't never fucking arrived. And that's just my mentality. You may have more, but you never fucking arrived. You wanna be uncommon amongst uncommon people, period. We have two voices in our mind. The boy, I know they're fucking true. I've heard them. I hear them now. <laughs> and they're real. It's that one voice. That voice I used to love to fucking hear. We love to hear. It's that soft motherfucker. That soft motherfucking voice that says, sleep the fuck in. It's okay. It's that calling voice. You want to be hugged and nurtured and all that shit. I said, it's going to be okay. Well, there's another motherfucking voice. I wake you up in the middle of the night. Please come, middle of the car to the party. Honestly speaking. Whispers in your fucking ear. Normal workouts are much easier than dumbbell workouts. They just take way too much of your fucking focus and strength. 
Just look at the but you know, the bumpers also were also at the same time the old bumpers were fucking Tiring and mind fucking Honestly in every rep that I do I'm like Fuck this is fucking me up way beyond what a normal barber would have done But I'm two variations down with my tricep workout I want two more variations After that I'll be done So if you're still watching my life you can go back Watch it all over from the beginning to see what all bicep and tricep on the side. It's dead weight. We believe we work harder than we actually have. Trust me, most of us have it. The one thing that rocks you got to realize is this: learn to help yourself. Don't count other people to help you. We're all being tested in life, and guess what? This is one test you can't cheat on. We all have our own tests. Some of us are obese. Some of us are depressed. Some of us are insecure. And the only way to overcome it is for you and you alone to face it. You have to do your best work when you're at least motivated. So those days you don't want to do it, guess what you gotta do? You gotta suck it the fuck up and do it. Stay hard. sit back and give ourselves fucking options on which way we're going to go in life. Am I going to run again? Am I going to work out again? Well, it's Christmas. It's, it's, it's New Year's. It's, it's my birthday. You think time gives a fuck that it's Christmas, that it's New Year's, that it's your birthday? You give yourself too many fucking options. Let me tell you one thing. Time is running out. Keep on sitting around wondering what the fuck you want to do. You're just going to run out of time. So make sure you do one thing. Stop following the fucking crowd. They may take time off, but you can't afford to. Stay home. Sometimes your motivation needs to be because no one else wants to fucking do it. We need doctors. We need fucking lawyers. We need dentists. We need teachers. We also need fucking savages. This message I do is not for fucking everybody. Some of us in that soft bullshit about do we have sunscreen on? This message is dangerous. It's too hot. I'm not asking you to fucking be like me. Do you? There's two kind of mindsets. One mindset is a brittle mindset. And that brittle mindset gives you all these fucking ways out. Oh, I don't need to fucking finish the race. I can come back next year. I'm gonna drop out because things aren't going right. You also have a fucking savage mindset. The savage mindset, if things are going fucking bad, guess what they do? Quit is out of the fucking question. All they think about is how the fuck am I gonna get through this? There's no quitting, it's just fucking getting through and thriving, not surviving. Let's go. But what I was looking for is this special fucking feeling of Oh, I feel great this morning. I'm gonna get out of bed and get a quick five miles and go to the gym. You're looking for that feeling, and let me tell you what thing ain't gonna come. You have to learn to do when you don't want it. Learn to bring that savage mentality out of yourself. The animalistic motherfucker. 
You think a sound you give a fuck about how we feel and how she feels? They just do it. Learn to be your best self when you get wrong with Stop looking for a feeling to control what's going on in your body. You become a savage is in isolation. When you train it for a big MMA fight or just a boxing match, you don't stay outside of isolation. You go in isolation. And that's when your mind changes. That's when your focus changes. Your dedication changes. Don't use that time to fuck up your mind. Use the grand strength to gain focus. Isolation is the key to strengthen your mind. Come on, savage. Remember this. Stay hard at all times. Savage. The most important conversation you'll ever have is the one you have with yourself. You wake up with it, you walk around with it, you go to bed with it. The one thing you gotta understand is this, try to infiltrate your mind. We have to be able to live amongst distractions and be undistracted. Stay in your own mind. Don't let them own yours. Every day, burn over 20 miles a day. Getting up early, going to bed early, eating the right shit. This last week, you start taking a toll off. I usually don't think too much. Get my shoes on, head the fuck out. I've been thinking a lot. That internal voice that they're talking to me. Talking about, oh man, you're tired. Looking at my shoes about 30 minutes before I put the motherfuckers on. Pushing back the time that, that I go out to go run. So I decided to tape record myself. That internal voice I put on tape. Sounds like a straight bitch when I listen to that motherfucker. If you ever have a hard time out there, tape yourself. Listen to that bitch you're being. Stay hard. But I keep on thinking too. There's always someone out there that's haunting you. I'm haunted by that motherfucker. Know that there's someone out there that's going to control you. Person desires to come. Don't go to sleep. Don't go to every day to be better. To be the best. In life, a lot of times, we'll always have that person out there. You may not be a name or a face to him, but he exists. You make sure I can think about that person. You make sure they put a name and face to it. You make sure that name and face is yours. We all have two people. We all have two people. I'm not saying you're crazy. You have the easy voice, which is that 20% telling yourself that you're, I'm easy at 90% of my full potential, maybe 100% at that 20%. That's that voice that we all love. This other voice that we walk very far away from is the voice that, hey man, you ain't doing shit. So we try to get this voice out of our head completely. And we live over here in this lane. So what you have to do first is turn up this voice over here. The voice saying things to you that aren't nice. That is in our head saying, you know what man, dude, you're not doing shit. And it's not putting yourself down. People take this the wrong way in this new society. I'm not saying to put yourself down. I'm saying listen to the truth. And the truth isn't in the 20%. The truth is in this other part of your brain saying, look man, you're wasting a bunch of percentage here. We have 80 more percent that we're not tapping into because in this other 80% is suffering, 
pain, failure, self-doubt, darkness, and then a whole bunch of light. So easy. So easy to put things off. So easy to say, you're going to do it tomorrow. Well, I want you to reprogram your brain and tell yourself that tomorrow is not a viable option. Tomorrow doesn't work. You do it today. You get it done today. That's what you do. Go get some. The mind of an evil motherfucker is constantly fighting against you. It's the only thing in the history of the fucking world that shows up on time every time. It has a technical advantage over you. It knows your fears. It knows your insecurities. It knows everything about you. It might be the only thing in that world that knows all about you. You gotta know about it. It's gonna show up when you don't wanna show up. It's gonna show up at the worst time possible when you wanna be successful. It's gonna say, take the easy road. Take the easy way out. But to get to this light, you gotta go through all of this shit. So a lot of us know that. So everybody goes, how do you do that? You know exactly how to do that. It's all back down to a very primitive mindset of we just back to do it. It's like breathing. Breathing becomes normal. Like we don't know that 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 we're doing. That's how you have to live your life. And that alarm clock goes off at four or five in the morning, your mind says no. You just say, this is what we do. It's what we do now. That's your new norm. Because we're gonna talk to you and then remind you. They're gonna tell you that it's gonna get colder. They're gonna tell you that the evolution is gonna end. They're gonna tell you that you're too weak. They're gonna tell you this isn't worth it. They're gonna tell you that you're too big, you're too small, you're too short, you're too tall. They're gonna tell you things to try and get you quit. And they'll argue. All kinds of negative stuff out there. You're gonna hear it from other people, you're gonna hear it in your own head. Don't listen to it. They're lying. Don't let them. Do it for it. For so many times in life, you can't just fucking quit. Harsh, you wanna check this live out? I was doing the workout, you told me. With the dumbbell like this. So what you say to yourself is important. You don't fucking coach, you don't train to keep you going, it's only you. Stay on common life, stay on common people. You're never done. Don't stop when you're tired. Stop when you're done. Stay hard. Every day, do something that moves you toward that goal, that keeps that goal alive and in sight and in focus. However small or insignificant that step might seem, take it. Do it. Make it happen. Because that goal isn't going to achieve itself. You think things are gonna just go your way? Well, well they're not gonna just go your way. You're gonna make them go your way. You think things are gonna just happen for you? Well, they're not just gonna happen for you. You gotta make them happen. It's Monday, go make things happen. It's 44 degrees and it's nice and rainy outside, but no one cares about that. It's not about the rain. It's what the rain represents. Life is always giving you a text. Trying to give you a way out. Trying to give you an excuse not to show up. People have this reoccurring nightmare that there's some thing, some force that's got a hold of them and it's holding them down and they can't break free. No matter what they do, they can't break free from that force. Well, I'm here to tell you that that thing in your nightmare, that thing that's holding you back, that thing that's dragging you down, that thing is you. Go out there and start fucking walking. Put some shoes on, start running. Go to the gym. 
You need a elliptical trainer. It's not rocket science. A lot of folks talk about overtraining. You got to train first before you get overtrained. Sometimes you wake up in the morning time and you're sore and you feel like you're overtrained. No, you got sore fucking legs. Get out of your own head and stop overthinking it. Stay hard. But I don't care how small it is. I don't care how minuscule the movement is, but make movement. Move forward and do that every single day, no matter what. Recruit you today. You aren't getting it any closer to your life, your career, your career, your your career, 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 you gotta have the mentality to show up every fucking day of your life. No matter what life throws at you, it's our responsibility to show up to the Coliseum of life, prepare for fucking battle. I don't care what you're going through, what life's throwing at you, it's your responsibility to find your new hundred percent. Take it upon yourself to do that. Stay hard. Those days that you don't want to do anything, too tired, too sore, you just don't feel like it. Those days, those are the days that count. When you have those feelings, it's even more important to step up and get some. If you've got something to do, don't put it off till tomorrow. Don't do that. Don't voluntarily do anything tomorrow that you should be getting done today. Get it done today. Don't wait. Attack it, destroy it, and move on. Hello uh, everybody, it's Groundhog's Day again for David Goggins. If you pan it down here, you see it's about 3 o'clock in the morning and there's not a car or a person in sight. If you pan over here, it's the same thing. Not a car or a person in sight. People want to know where I find my strength at, where I get my strength. I get it from a lot of places, but right now, this morning, I'm getting it from there's not a motherfucker that's up. There's not a car, there's not a person. The Everybody's in the awesome. so dreading it. It's a Monday. Hey, it's a Monday. And I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Where everybody's getting weaker, I'm getting stronger. It's not about the running, the swimming, the push up to sit ups. It's about what those things do for your mentality. You don't get better on the daggone couch. You get better by coming out here and getting the fuck after it every daggone day. And why, why, please, y'all work much harder than we actually are. We think if we fucking got up early for four days, Learn something. You gotta drop your entire mindset. Let's get what we believe we work harder than we actually have. Trust me, most of us have it. At all times we want to quit. Because we're all human. You make sure you know one thing. All times, hours, days, you sacrifice to be the best. It brings me back. Now I'm 300 pounds. Trying to lose fucking weight. To get a Navy SEAL. My goal was to go out of the plane. My parents go out there and run four fucking miles. But guess what? Everybody's got a fucking plan so they can hit the fucking mouth. That's for Mike Tyson. So when your plan fails, when those folks in the fucking law get too heavy, when you get knocked the fuck down on the fucking cameras, when everything falls apart in your life and your plan is fucked up, what the fuck are you gonna do? There's only one motherfucking option. Stay fucking far. It's important for us to stay hungry. Now hunger changes your mentality. You go from being domesticated to being a savage. Make sure you're on that front seat of the table. When you never go to bed at night, make sure you check it on the back of you. Stay hungry.
So I'll hear people say, if you believe it, then you can achieve it. And the problem with that is they're leaving out the most important part of the equation. And that part is work, action, actually doing so something. So that should be the end That's of That's what you have to life. do to achieve anything. I yeah, did you gotta entire believe it, bicep and tricep work workout, whatever done. you can do at home. I did it and this one requires weight. So you know you can just buy a 5 kg so or 10 kg and literally replicate every single workout that I did. If you want to say it's because of this, because of that, because the another reason why you're... So you know, I'll be posting this on my IGTV, you can go check that out. Check if you haven't watched it, you can literally do the workouts with Don't me. Do it. Or you know, just make note of everything that I do. And then you know, formulate your own way of doing it because... And so that this shit is fucking effective. Hold on, let's check this out. Fuck is this? Can I zoom? Oh, I can zoom mm -hmm. in my life. I can. I all those ways. Check this out. I am weak. But I don't accept that. I don't accept that. So, you know, that these workouts are pretty fucking effective. Like that. You could literally <laughs> replicate this instead of crying. No gym. I can't work out and shit, okay? I'm funny. So, that's it for today. I'm always funny.